Have you ever wondered how our brain differentiates between a cat and a dog, or between an apple and an orange? It's a fascinating process, isn't it? This is precisely the realm where contrastive learning comes into play. A type of machine learning, contrastive learning, paves the way for models to discern differences and similarities between various types of data. Just as our brain effortlessly identifies a cat from a dog, contrastive learning enables machines to distinguish different data types. It's like teaching a child the difference between hot and cold or sweet and sour. The child doesn't need to experience every possible temperature or taste every food to understand these differences. Similarly, contrastive learning doesn't need to analyze all available data to draw conclusions. It focuses on the differences and similarities, enabling machines to make smart, informed decisions. So in simple terms, contrastive learning is teaching machines to see the world as we do by differentiating between different types of data. Now you might be wondering, how does contrastive learning stand against other machine learning techniques? Well, let's unpack this mystery and delve into a comparative analysis. First up is supervised learning, the most traditional approach where an algorithm learns from labeled data. It's like a student learning with a teacher's guidance. Contrastive learning, on the other hand, is more independent. It doesn't need labeled data. Instead, it learns to differentiate between data instances. It's like learning to identify apples from oranges by their unique characteristics, not because someone labeled them for you. Next is unsupervised learning, where algorithms find patterns in unlabeled data. It's like exploring a dark room with a torch, finding objects based on their shapes and sizes. Contrastive learning, too, operates on unlabeled data, but it goes a step further. It doesn't just find the apple and the orange, it learns to tell them apart based on their distinctive traits. Then we have reinforcement learning, where an agent learns to perform actions based on rewards or penalties. Imagine a child learning to ride a bike. The thrill of balance is the reward, while falling off is the penalty. Contrastive learning, in contrast, doesn't rely on rewards or penalties. It's all about understanding the differences between data instances. It's like identifying the bike from the scooter, not by riding them, but by recognizing their unique features. Lastly, let's consider semi-supervised learning, a hybrid approach where an algorithm learns from both labeled and unlabeled data. It's like learning to identify fruits with some labeled examples and then exploring the rest on your own. Contrastive learning, although it also uses unlabeled data, focuses on distinguishing different instances rather than making predictions. As we can see, while all machine learning techniques have their unique perks and drawbacks, contrastive learning stands out with its unique approach to data differentiation. It's the intellectual adventurer of machine learning, always seeking to understand the distinctive characteristics of data rather than just labeling or predicting them. Time to delve deeper into the fascinating world of contrastive learning. Let's first wrap our heads around how contrastive learning works, in essence. This technique thrives on the principle of comparison. It's like a detective examining two pieces of evidence and determining whether they're from the same event or not. In the machine learning universe, the evidence is data, and the events they represent are their respective classes or labels. The magic of contrastive learning is in its ability to distinguish between similar and dissimilar data points. It hones in on the subtle differences and similarities, training the model to recognize these distinctions. The model is then able to predict whether two data points belong to the same class or not, making it a potent tool for tasks requiring discernment and differentiation. Now let's talk about where contrastive learning shines. Computer vision is one area where it's making waves. Consider the challenge of recognizing faces. Traditional supervised learning may struggle with this task due to the vast variations in facial expressions, lighting conditions, and angles. However, contrastive learning, with its focus on comparison, can discern the subtle similarities that indicate the same person despite these differences. Natural language processing is another domain where contrastive learning has proven its worth. It's like teaching a machine to understand the nuances of language the way humans do. For instance, in sentence matching tasks, contrastive learning helps the model recognize if two sentences have the same meaning, even if they use different words or structures. It's all about understanding the essence, the underlying meaning, and that's where contrastive learning excels. 
And it's not just these areas, whether it's audio recognition, anomaly detection, or even bioinformatics. Contrastive learning is proving to be a valuable addition to the machine learning toolkit. It's like having a magnifying glass that can zoom in on the subtlest of differences and similarities, enabling models to make more precise and nuanced predictions. The benefits of contrastive learning are manifold. It can work with less labeled data, making it a more economical choice. It also allows for more robust and generalizable models, as it's not just focused on memorizing specific labels, but understanding the underlying differences and similarities in the data. Clearly, contrastive learning has a wide array of applications, and its unique approach to data differentiation makes it a powerful tool in the domain of machine learning. While contrastive learning is indeed a powerful tool, it's not without its challenges and limitations. As we delve deeper into the world of contrastive learning, it becomes evident that despite its numerous advantages, there are certain hurdles that we must navigate. The first of these challenges relates to the quality of data. As with any machine learning technique, contrastive learning is only as good as the data it's trained on. If the data is noisy, incomplete or biased, the model can end up producing inaccurate or misleading results. Therefore, it is essential to ensure that the data used for training is of high quality, well curated and representative of the problem space. Now let's talk about computational resources. Contrastive learning, particularly in its deep learning applications, requires significant computational power. Training these models involves handling large data sets and complex computations which can be resource intensive. Not everyone has access to the kind of hardware needed to train these models effectively, which can be a limiting factor in the widespread adoption of contrastive learning. Another challenge that we face in contrastive learning is the difficulty in training. Contrastive learning models require careful tuning and optimization to perform well. The process of finding the right balance between positive and negative samples, choosing an appropriate distance metric, and deciding on the right architecture for the model can all be quite tricky. This makes contrastive learning a challenging field, even for seasoned data scientists. Additionally, there's the issue of interpretability. Machine learning models are often criticized for being black boxes, and contrastive learning is no exception. While these models can produce impressive results, understanding why they make certain decisions can be difficult. This lack of transparency can be problematic in fields where interpretability is crucial, such as healthcare or finance. Finally, we must consider the issue of generalization. While contrastive learning has shown impressive results in specific tasks, it's not yet clear how well these models can generalize to other tasks or domains. This is a common challenge in machine learning and one that requires further research. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of contrastive learning make it a promising area for further research and development. The field is still young and there's plenty of room for exploration and innovation. As we continue to refine these models and develop new techniques, the future of contrastive learning looks bright indeed. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's take a moment to recap the key points about contrastive learning. Contrastive learning is a type of machine learning technique that uses a comparison-based approach to learn about data. It's like a detective who sifts through clues, comparing and contrasting them to understand the bigger picture. It's a method that has proven its worth in various fields, from natural language processing to computer vision. In comparison to other machine learning techniques, contrastive learning stands out in its ability to learn from unlabeled data. Traditional supervised learning needs a human to label data, but contrastive learning can work with a much more diverse range of information. It's like learning to identify a bird by observing its characteristics and behaviors, not just by someone telling you that's a sparrow. We've also seen how contrastive learning has found its niche in real-world applications. It's been instrumental in improving the accuracy of image recognition in self-driving cars, and enhancing the effectiveness of recommendation systems in e-commerce platforms. The sky is truly the limit for where contrastive learning could be applied next. However, it's not all smooth sailing. There are challenges to contrastive learning, including the need for large amounts of data and computational resources. Like a voracious reader who can't get enough books, contrastive learning thrives on data, the more the better. It also requires extensive computational power 
making it a resource-intensive endeavor. Yet despite these challenges, the benefits of contrastive learning are compelling. It offers a way to learn from a broader range of data, and its ability to work with unlabeled data opens up new opportunities for machine learning. It's a technique that pushes the boundaries of what we think machines can learn. As we continue to explore and develop new machine learning techniques, contrastive learning remains a fascinating and promising area of study.